Hey guys, Cookie Monster Mod here with a tutorial, and as you just saw, we'll be making a cube exploding thing. So first off, we need cube. Make your cube, and just you can just scale it down if you want. I just do it like this, and go ahead and go to remote graph, create cloner. Dra then right here, drag your cube under your cloner. Change in the properties for the cloner. Change the grid array, like just like just decided, and change all uh, these are the counts for like each thing, like X, Y, Z. So change counts to six, yeah. And then we just spread them out so there's like a little gap in between them, so they're not all clumped together and they have like their own space kind of. And I'll start looking more like a cube once I do this last one. There. A cube made out of smaller cubes now, you can see. Alright, let's put a material on this. Go ahead and go File, Shader, New Key. And double click on the New Key. Go here, click Diffuse A, and click the color you want. Hodge green. Drag it, don't, you can't drag it onto your material, so you have to drag it on, see, you have to drag it onto your cloner object. Now create a floor. Uh, let me just drag that down a little. Actually, yeah, I just like always using a hardwood floor material. Adds a little more realistic look. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so go ahead and just render it out. Looks pretty good right now. But it kinda looks bad because we need a light. So create a light. Position one on the left side of the cube, like on one side of the cube. Then as you can see there's too much shadow over here now. So duplicate it and just move it on the other side of the cube so there's like cross shadows. See? Looks much better now. Next thing, you want to put the cube a little higher so it would actually fall. Then, with the floor selected, go to Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. And I'll have this tag beside it. Now, under for the cube, under the cloner object, do the same thing. Simulation, Dynamics, Create Rigid Body. Now play it. The cube should fall and hit the ground different things we need to do. See how it's a little bouncy? Oh, it looks really nice first of all. Beautiful looking. But it's a little, the floor is a little bouncy and you, like, the cubes like slide. So, see? If, you, if I make it a little longer, the cubes just slide as you can see. And I don't like that. So under the floor, under dynamic body you could change everything like the friction and stuff see how it's still sliding but I could just change that I could make it really bouncy I could, you could do about anything with this if you want it to be bouncy you could make it bouncy but yeah that's basically it see you later